Hi, my name is Jason. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly extract the audio from a video file. This can come in handy for several reasons, one of which being if you had a giant video file and you were only interested in the sound or audio portion of it. You can also save a lot of room on your hard drive when you're all done by deleting the original video if you no longer need it. To do this, open an internet browser and go to google.com. Do a quick Google search for VLC download, and then click on the go to download link that appears underneath videoland.org. That'll ensure that you go to the right website. On this page, there's an orange download button for VLC, so go ahead and click that. And in a brief amount of seconds, the download should begin. I'm in Google Chrome, so you'll see on mine it shows up in the bottom left corner of my screen. While that downloads, I'm going to show you the project file that I'll be working with. This is a video that I created with my drone, and then I edited it and added some sound in the background with nice music and everything. And let's just say that I'm wanting to reuse the sound from this file, but I have no idea where I saved the sound file or where I downloaded it from on the internet. Well, with VLC, I can simply just grab the audio right out of the file and then use it later anywhere I want to. So. Going back to the installation, it looks like it's complete. We'll click to open VLC. If Windows asks you, um, do you want to allow this app to make changes, say yes. That's only if you're in Windows. And then the program installation begins. So I'm just going to click through the prompts to start the installation. And away it goes. There are quite a few files with this program, but I don't think all in all it's all that large when it actually is on your system. So after a brief delay, there, we reach the, the finish screen. So we click the finish button and then VLC opens up full screen. What we're gonna focus on is the media button in the upper left corner. This program's wonderful and does a lot of things and it's a great video viewing program. But for now, we're just going to click media followed by convert save towards the bottom of the list. Now this screen is where it's asking which file or files you want to convert. So we're going to simply click the add button and then just navigate to the file that you want to remove the audio from. In my case, it's already in the proper directory. You can also add more than one file and it'll do it in a batch process and it'll strip the audio from a whole bunch of files while you even walk away from the computer and just let it work. But for now, we'll just click on this one video and then click open. That takes us back to this window again and we have to click convert save. Now, I notice with this program, if you're only doing one file, it will not let you continue and click Start until you click Browse, and then you have to remove the extension .mp4 or whatever it is for your video from the end of the file name. As you can see down here, it's already going to save it as an MP3, and having MP4 there will cause a conflict. So we'll click the Save button, and this happens very fast. I'm going to hit Start, and then we'll see it go, and it's done. So let's take a look at the results of what we just did. So going back to my folder, now you'll notice that there is an MP3 file with the same name along with the original MP4 video. So to compare the two to make sure the audio quality is the same, we're going to open a few seconds of the original video file and listen to it, and then we'll open the new file that was just created. So here's the original. And here is the MP3 file that was just extracted. Sounds the same, so that's great. Next thing is to wonder how much space did we save? So the original, if I click it, Windows says it's 1.03 gigabytes, which is really 1,030 megabytes. And then the, the uh, extracted version is 1.36. So we're talking about going from uh, 1,030 down to one. So that's a lot of hard drive storage that you can save if you don't need your original clip again. So. Uh, that's a great thing and will hopefully be a helpful tool for you to use when working with video and extracting audio in the future. If you like this video and it helped you, please give my video a like. I'm trying to build out my channel, so any comments or subscriptions that you could give me would help me along the way. Thank you so much and I hope this has been helpful to you. Have a great day.